Welcome back to my second video to my new series, Catch the Buzz. I'm super excited because today I'm going to be talking to you guys about all of the benefits of drinking water. Water. I know I discussed that in my first video that it was probably going to be my next video. Water has changed my life tremendously, I will say. There's so many benefits to drinking water, but today I'm going to give you my top 10 benefits of drinking water, and I'm super excited, so stay tuned. Okay, before we get into the 10 benefits of drinking water, which there are many benefits of drinking water, I'm just gonna be giving you 10 today just to give you the most important Things or things that I think are to be the most important. So before we get into all the benefits of drinking water, I wanted to ask you, did you know that 74% of all adults are dehydrated? Wow, that's a lot. That is a huge number. And most of us don't even realize that we are actually dehydrated. Did you also know that being dehydrated can slow your metabolism down from to about three to five percent that's kind of crazy because you know when your metabolism slows down it makes it harder for people to lose weight which I know is a big thing for a lot of people even if you're exercising every day you're in the gym and you do abs and everything some people I would say a lot of people struggle with the fact that they aren't seeing the results of their abs probably because you're not drinking enough water to really be able to burn off that fat. Also, this is pretty crazy, but about 37% of people confuse thirst for hunger. So a lot of times people think they're hungry, you know, our stomachs hurt and we're, our stomachs are growling and we're wondering when we're going to get our next meal. And most of the time that is because you're actually thirsty. Our body and our brains tell us we're hungry because naturally that's what we've been taught all of our lives to think okay we're hungry but in reality our bodies most of the time just need a little bit of water and that's it so instead of drinking water which has zero calories in it a lot of people are eating more foods which have much more calories and then in return causing people to gain more weight overeating that is the biggest issue in America nowadays is the fact that we are obese we're overeating our portions should be much smaller and that will be able to be done when we are actually drinking more water so our bodies feel fuller with all that being said we should probably all start to drink more water with those statistics alone but now let's really get into the 10 top benefits to drinking water. Okay, so the first big one that I really want to get into is number one, drinking water helps us to lose weight. So I know that a lot of people are probably like, oh, come on, you just drink water and you're going to lose weight. Well, actually, yes, if you're not drinking the proper amount of water currently, the, the amount of water that your body needs, then you're probably overweight. Drinking a lot of water flushes out the toxins in your body, first off. So it just helps you to get rid of any waste that's in your body that it shouldn't be there. So, you know, that also probably adds to the weight that you have in your body. So one of the big ones to talk about is the fact that water helps us to metabolize fat. So as I discussed previously, you know, if you're not drinking enough water, you're not able to burn the fat that's in your body. So in return, slowing down your metabolism and just causing you to be overweight. So when I say that water helps you to lose weight, it's really not that water helps you to lose weight, but more just allows you to be in your natural healthy state. All right, so let's talk about something. I know this is a little strange to think about, but Drinking more water actually helps your body to reduce water retention. So a lot of times our bodies are holding on to a lot of water. So you hear even like bodybuilders or, you know, in general people that work out, they talk about water retention and our bodies holding and storing a lot of water. 
Now, by drinking more water, we can actually help to reduce the water retention. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but actually our body, it works in mysterious ways. Our body works properly when we give it the proper things it needs. And by drinking more water, your body is staying hydrated. But when you're not hydrated, your body is holding on to the water that it does have in its body because it's not sure when you're gonna take in more water. So keeping your body hydrated allows your body to store less water, if that makes any sense. It just allows your body to be in perfect balance more balance and just overall more healthy. Speaking of that, let's get into the fact that number two, healthier skin. Water allows your skin to be much more radiant, glow, and just all together look much younger. Now, this is a big one for me because Obviously, I am in front of the camera a lot. I'm doing a lot of makeup, not only for myself, but also on my clients, you know. That is something that is important to me because beautiful makeup starts with beautiful skin. I have a lot of clients that will, you know, ask me, what do you have that can cover up my acne or whatever the case may be. Um, and there's only so much that makeup can do. Yes, makeup has the ability to work wonders, but at the same time, you don't want to just have to cover up all of the blemishes on your face. It's just more about having good skin to begin with and then being able to have the nice natural skin and putting makeup over it. I promise it is a tremendous feeling because I have had a lot of acne problems, actually more recent than, than not. When I was in high school, I had really great skin um, and then as I went into college and then after, even after college I just noticed my skin really breaking out and I started to think maybe it's because of the a lot of the makeup that I'm using and you know I went through a lot of different phases of trying to figure out what was really wrong with my skin until I really started to do research and do the right natural healthy thing I didn't realize that it wasn't the wearing the makeup that was breaking my face out it was actually all the toxins that I was carrying in my body. So when your skin breaks out, it's a lot of times it's it's your body reacting to the toxins in your body and trying to release them. So when you're drinking more water, you're releasing it the natural way, all the toxins that are in your body and it is going to cause you to go pee a lot. Um, but it's a good thing. It's, it's flushing out all the bad things that are in your body instead of causing it to come out through your skin through breakouts. So keep your body hydrated and you'll keep your body free of toxins and just one thing to remember your skin is actually the largest organ on your body okay and all of our organs are composed of water every single one of them so you need to restore the water back into your organs your skin is the largest one so I personally can speak about it because I know the more water I've been drinking, I've actually noticed a natural glow to my skin. I mean, I don't know if you can see it from there, but it's just, it's a great feeling, honestly. I've had, I've struggled with acne, I've struggled with the dark spots, and I've tried every single cream, every single product you can think out there, the bleach, the treatments, everything. and. Yeah, things would start to work for me, you know, periodically it would work and then, you know, I'd have another breakout and back and forth. But the one thing that I will say, drinking so much water has helped me out amazing. It's worked wonders and that is another reason why I'm so excited to be talking to you guys about that because it honestly makes me a happier person. Like, I feel like I'm glowing literally inside and out. Just drink a lot of water and keep your skin healthy and you don't have to spend so much money on all those products that are out there. Just drink your natural water. Keep your skin hydrated. And if your lips are chapped, chances are you're probably dehydrated. That is one thing that you keep drinking a lot of water and you stay hydrated. Your lips will be nice and luscious and moist and you won't really need all these moisturizers and creams and 
crazy stuff. Just by eating healthy alone is one big thing, of course, but just drinking water in general will give you that nice glow to your skin. And also, drinking water helps to improve your skin's elasticity. So, allows it to be much more stretchy and flow and young. You know, if you don't want to get those wrinkles especially the premature wrinkles, keep your skin hydrated, drink your water, and you will have a much younger looking face and skin in general. All right, so moving on to number three, drinking water will increase your productivity. Now, let me explain. So our brains, obviously another organ in our body, is comprised of about 85% of water. Okay, so now let's process that and think about that for a second. 85% water, I mean, if I, let's just call it what it is. Your body is mostly water. <laughs> so we need to intake water and keep our body full of water. So by fueling your brain with water, you're just allowing yourself to be smarter, be wiser, be sharper, you're feeding it the nutrients that it needs, water. It just allows your body to be in much better balance. So give your body what it needs and drink more water. So I know this is kind of crazy. People are probably thinking, okay, yeah, she's got it all figured out. Water is the holy grail, blah, blah, blah. But let's put all that aside and really just listen to what you've heard, what you've been hearing, what you're hearing now, and maybe try it out for yourself. That is the only way you're really going to be able to know and to believe me is to try it for yourself through your own research, as I always say. Now, I've noticed because, I, like I said, I've been you before where I've heard things and it's just like, okay, all right, I hear it. But until you actually try it, which is what I've been doing and I've noticed that just by drinking water I'm able to be more alert, more concentrated and, and focused. You know, I spend a lot of time in front of the computer editing my videos and you know, just doing different things for social media, all kinds of stuff for my website, whatever the case may be. And I have issues, I mean I think that I'm ADD, you know, who knows, whatever it is. But a lot of times, it's just a matter of needing to drink more water to be able to fuel your brain, stay concentrated, and really get stuff done and be more productive. You don't believe me? Try it out for yourself. Continue to drink water throughout your day and see how much more energy, how much more sharp you are on, you know, things that you probably if you're thirsty or hungry, so you think you're hungry, but you might be actually thirsty, if you keep your body hydrated, I guarantee you can focus and get a lot more things done than you would if you weren't. Okay, so number four, more energy. Water gives your body more energy. Now, let's talk about this for a second. I would recommend drinking one glass of water when you wake up in the morning. I've been doing it every single morning and I have seen such a traumatic, traumatic, dramatic, <laughs> such a dramatic change in my energy level. Like in the mornings I wake up so much more positive and you know, it, it all plays in together. So yes, you know, it's all about, you know, being mentally positive, but just by drinking water, all of that ties in together, it gives you balance and allows you know, one positive to domino effect lead to another positive. So just in general, drink a glass of water in the morning, see how it makes you feel. See if it gives you more energy, you know, instead of maybe drinking coffee all the time. Not that coffee is bad for you, but when you start to put in all the sugars and everything like that, that's what can be bad for you. But drink a glass of water in the morning and let's see how that makes you feel. A lot of times our bodies can get overheated, hot, and, and just dehydrated in general. And our body has to work hard to really cool down our body. I know I keep saying our body, our body, our body, but 
you know, it's a machine that runs and God gave it to us and He structured it in such a perfect way that it just functions without us even having to do anything. But if you treat it the right way, then it functions at the way that it's supposed to be. You know, if you're doing things, if you have a machine running and, you know, you don't properly manage it, you don't, you know, put the oil that it needs to stay lubricated and the screws and pieces and parts to keep it all together, over time that machine is going to end up breaking down and it's going to cost a lot of money to get it fixed and, you know, probably just end up having to buy a new one. Too bad with our bodies, you can't just buy a new body. I mean, yeah, you can get organs and things um, replaced and stuff like that, but our bodies, you only get one. So let's take care of it so that you don't have to spend all this money on going to the doctor, spend all this money on, you know, getting all these medications that probably are making you even sicker. And instead, just be preventative. Drink the water so that way your body can do what it's naturally meant to do. So going back to the fact that our bodies get overheated and water actually acts as as like a cooling fan. So if you've ever heard your computer and you know sometimes your laptop like it gets a little hot on the bottom or wherever and it has like a little fan inside you can sometimes hear it and it'll um, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways so that is the internal fan cooling down the computer. Now water does the same thing for our bodies. When you keep your body hydrated with water it allows your body to cool down and stay and function at its normal, you know, productivity rate. I don't know what to say. It just allows your body to function at the way it should properly. So a lot of times when you're working out, um, just by drinking more water, it could help you to, you know, do more reps, increase your weight, and then, you know, allowing you to have better results. I know it's kind of crazy to think about it, but just drink a little bit of water and see how your energy level is. Because when you keep your body hydrated, you're allowing your body to cool down through perspiration. Your body's natural way of cooling you down is through perspiration, sweating. So you're able to do that when your body is properly hydrated and everything's functioning in the right way. And as I said, body, Water helps to regulate your body's temperature. So drink more water, stay cool, and have more energy. All right, so moving on to number five. Water helps with digestion. Digestion. I'm having a little bit of issues speaking today, but water helps with your body's digestion and clearing your colon. All right, so at the end of the day, when you're drinking a lot of water, you're keeping your body, you know, naturally getting rid of any toxins that are in your body, it's speeding up your metabolism, and it helps us to absorb the nutrients in our blood, and in return, giving us regular flow. So, a lot of times, either people are constipated, or maybe even, you know, going to the bathroom too much, that could be for a cause of many different reasons. So if you do have issues with using the restroom, Chances are you're probably a little dehydrated, so you probably just need a little, drink a little bit of water and help your colon to be cleansed and cleared and in the proper state. One thing that's really important to remember is that you should be drinking your water at specific times. So I mentioned drinking water in the morning to start your morning off energetic and positive, but also drinking a glass of water before you eat your food is going to help you to be fuller and eat less as I discussed earlier and it will help your body to digest. When you're eating your food and then drinking in between, you're breaking down the nutrients in the foods that our body actually needs so you're pretty much I guess diluting the food and the nutrients and causing your body to feel like you need more than overeating. Instead of drinking the water before you eat, feeling full, and then eating what you need and getting much more fuller. A lot of times when we go to restaurants or even at home, we've been trained to overeat. 
don't know why, but unfortunately our society has, you know, given us two to three portions instead of one portion. And our bodies are now used to that, so in return we are eating more because our stomachs have expanded and we're getting fatter. Hello, it is a huge issue in the United States. It's been talked about for years now and you know people try and give you these diets and how to lose weight and how to do this and most of them are just crash diets. Let's just start drinking more water, drinking them at the right time so that way your body feels full, you're eating less and you're helping to metabolize your fat and you're staying full and healthy. Hello, it just let's connect all the dots here and see that drinking water is a must for keeping our bodies keeping our bodies full and healthy. I'm sorry, I get like way ahead of myself, super excited about it, and then I just get all lost in my words. Okay, so moving on to number six. Let's really talk about this. Water helps to boost your body's immune system. All right, so let's just knock that off our list. It just helps you to fight off disease and sickness. So it may not be the holy grail. Okay, you're sick, you have a headache, and you're, you have this or you have that. Just drink some water and you'll be cured of, of that sickness. It isn't going to cure you, but it's called preventative health care. Taking care of your body's health so that way you don't get sick. So water also helps to balance our body's lymph system. If you don't really know what our lymph system is, you could do more research, but just to give you a general idea, our lymph, sim lymph system is the body's drainage system, which you know helps our body to fight sickness and disease. So when you keep your body hydrated, you're balancing your lymph system and allowing your body to fight off the sicknesses and illnesses that it, it's naturally supposed to do. You're not supposed to be taking all these crazy medicines and things that are not good for our bodies. So instead, keep your body hydrated so that way it can function and do what it's supposed to do and fight off all these sicknesses and diseases that our society is just getting worse and worse and worse at. Oh, I can't even. Cancer is on the rise and that's one of the biggest things for me is just drinking more water to really prevent your body from getting sick. You know, we cannot we cannot control what's going to happen in the future. We don't know what kind of sicknesses or illnesses are going to happen or we could, you know, be affected by like I've said a million times. We don't know, but we can try and reduce the risk of getting these sicknesses and, and diseases and cancer. What is cancer? Cancer is the depletion of oxygen within the cells. Therefore, disease cannot survive in oxygenated cells. What does that mean? How do you oxygenate your cells? Drink water. Hello. So drinking water can help to prevent cancer. Point blank. Water is the cure to cancer? I don't know, but I'm just saying. Drink more water so you can prevent cancer. Okay, with all that being said, this leads me to my eighth benefit of drinking water, which is improves your overall heart health. All right, so we did talk about the fact that your heart has to work harder when it doesn't, it isn't proper, properly hydrated. So, Point blank, drinking water helps to prevent heart disease. So just by drinking one glass of water before bed, you are reducing your risk of having a stroke. Why is that? Because your body, your heart, has, doesn't have to work as hard because it is properly hydrated. So drink more water, you won't have stroke. Water cleanses your arteries, your veins, everything in your body, your organs, your lymph system, it cleanses everything and just keeps everything in a healthy state and allows it to run clean. When you're drinking those sugary juices and 
those sugary sodas and all those horrible things that you're putting in your body, you're, that has to be digested through your body. When you drink water, you're literally putting it directly into your body's system and allowing everything to just flow and work properly. Moving on to number nine, drinking more water helps to prevent and reduce migraines and headaches. Most of the time when people have headaches or migraines, it's because they are dehydrated. So by hydrating your body, keeping yourself you know, full of water, you are reducing the risk of having a migraine. Now, let's also talk about the fact that people have hangovers after drinking alcohol all day. The next day they have a hangover and what does that mean? They have a headache all day. Why is that? It's because when you drink alcohol, you're dehydrating your body. Alcohol actually does the opposite of what water does. It takes all of the water out of your body. So that is why they do recommend if you are going to be drinking, drinking a glass of water in between your drinks so that you don't dehydrate yourself overly and have a hangover the next day and have a headache. So with that being said, that's just point blank if you are getting lots of headaches, drink more water and you will probably have less or maybe no more headaches. Okay, so last but not least, moving on to number 10, water helps to increase your overall fitness and health. So with everything that we just talked about, all of that combined, you can already say right there, your overall health and fitness is going to be increased. But let's also talk about the fact that water helps to lubricate your joints. So a lot of times we, as people get older, they talk about, oh, my joints are hurting, my body's aching, my this and that. And that's a lot of times because their bodies are dehydrated. You know, over these years, they haven't been drinking the amount of water they should be drinking. If you keep your body hydrated, you are gonna be much younger, younger, healthier, and feeling good and being able to move and groove and do whatever it is that your body can naturally do. But if you lack water over the years and everything, What's crazy is Alzheimer's disease is a direct effect of the lack of drinking water. When your body stays dehydrated, it affects you over the years and over the years and over the years. And what happens is with Alzheimer's, your body doesn't allow you to get thirsty anymore. You lose that, that feeling and you're just, you're not drinking any water, your body's dehydrated and it's crazy, but all of these things that I've discussed today are just point blank, simple. You need to start asking yourself, why am I not drinking water? Why have I not been drinking water? What do I need to be doing to drink more water? Because with all the stuff that I just discussed, it's scary it, that more people are not drinking water. As a matter of fact, more people are drinking sodas, which is the number one drink. Number one drink of choice. Soda. Like, that is so bad for you. Behind, in front of drinking water, more people are drinking sodas? That's crazy. So, one person that I really recommend that you guys check out, where I got a lot of my information from, is Dick Gregory's videos. He has a lot of videos on YouTube. He talks about the benefits of drinking water and, and much more videos on how to be healthy and live a healthy lifestyle. He has some really great stuff, so I would recommend checking him out. I will put a link below to his channel as well as all of the resources and things that I use to gather all my information so that way you guys can do your own research as well as, you know, Figure out for yourself why you should be drinking water. I want to just tell you and help you and then it is your decision from there to either do your own research or take my advice, whatever the case may be, but all I ask is that you just drink more water. Now I know a lot of people ask me, well how much water should I be drinking? In general, if you're not, if you're drinking sodas and juices and all the, that crap, unless it's all natural juice, you know, fruits and veggies, 
great benefits, but sugary sodas and sugary juices and all that kind of stuff, replace that with water. Just be drinking water throughout your day. Now, the overall rule of thumb that most people say is about, you know, eight to 15 ounce glass, eight to 15, eight ounce glasses of water a day. Now, that, you know, varies depending on people's weight, energy level, etc., etc. But general rule of thumb would be to take your body weight and cut it in half, and that's the amount of ounces of water you should be intaking a day. So, for instance, if you're 200 pounds, you should be drinking 100 ounces of water a day. So, like I said, there is no science behind any of that, but it's just a matter of making sure that you're drinking plenty of water. If your energy levels are up, you probably should be drinking more water. And, you know, a good way to really determine this, if you're getting enough water, is to check your pee. You know, if your pee is still very yellow, chances are you're definitely not drinking enough water. Um, your pee should be pretty clear, if not crystal clear, to know that you are really drinking enough water. That's how you know your body's healthy. You are going to be using the bathroom a lot. That is one, I guess, downfall you could say, but in my eyes, I don't look at it as a downfall because it's actually great because you're ridding your body of all the toxins in, in return. That's healthy. You should be going to the bathroom. That means you're being healthy. So if you are at work and you know, you hate that feeling or just in general, whatever you're doing throughout the day, you hate that feeling of having to go pee. I don't recommend looking at it in a negative light. Instead, just try and plan it around the right time. So if you know that, okay, from this time to this time, I really am not gonna be have access to the bathroom. Okay, don't drink that much water throughout that time, if any at all. Drink your water when you know you have the access. and. Just plan it out to be um, reasonable for you if you are the type of person that worries about having to, you know, use the bathroom too much because it is scary. When you have to pee, you have to pee. It's not a good feeling. When you drink a lot of water, your bladder gets full and it's telling you you got to go to the bathroom. So I understand that, but try and plan accordingly and I would recommend bringing a bottle of water with you daily. I recommend using a bottle like this, it's BPA free, and you can just refill it all day and continuously drink it. This is great because it's measured, this says 20 ounces of water, so I know, okay, if I drink one whole thing of this, that's 20 ounces, and I can keep track of it that way. You know, okay, I drank four of these today, so that means I got 80 ounces of water. Just try your best. I know it's not easy to make the transition, but when you start little by little, I, speaking from experience, everything just starts to happen naturally and you just start to become healthier. Your body feels good and you like that feeling of wanting to be healthy. So it's just a chain reaction. And like I said, you won't understand it until you experience it for yourself and then you can say, exactly what she's talking about and you're going to want to spread the light and tell other people about it as well um, but until you really experience it and start drinking your water and say you know feeling how healthy you feel not having to take any pills like I can't even tell you the last time I've taken a pill I don't take pills at all not saying don't or don't do your stuff but it's just a matter of trying to be as healthy as possible so you don't get sick and have to take all these medications and medicines. Um, instead, keep your body healthy from the very get-go and you won't have to spend all the money and waste all your time taking off work, going to the doctor, whatever the case may be, just try and drink more water every day. Thanks everyone for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, that you learned something, and that you go home and start drinking lots of water, staying hydrated and healthy, and being positive. Don't forget also to give me a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel for more videos. Catch me every Tuesday. I will be posting a new video. And let me know down below in the, er, in the comments 
what you guys want to see more of so I can make more videos for you guys. I really appreciate everyone who watches my videos. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family on your social media. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. Always, always, always be beautiful, be you, be Mariah. Mwah.